Find the transfer function for this circuit. Let's solve this problem step by step together. The transfer function h of s is defined as the output over the input in the s domain, the Laplace domain. In this circuit, the output is clearly VO, the output voltage, and the input is IG, the current source. So in the S domain, this will be capital VO of S over capital IG of S. We use uppercase letters to denote quantities in the frequency domain, whereas lowercase letters are used for time domain. The first step in finding the transfer function is to redraw the circuit in the S domain. To do so, we have to find the impedances of the different components. The impedance of a resistor is the resistance itself, so that will be two ohms in this case. The impedance of an inductor is S times its inductance, so this will be S ohms for this circuit, and the impedance of a capacitor is 1 over SC. The capacitance is 0.1 farad, so this will be 10 over S ohms. So we can redraw the circuit in the S domain like this. Notice the current source is now a capital I and the output voltage is now a capital V. Important notation. To find VO in terms of IG, we can use current division, but for a change, I'm actually going to find the equivalent impedance of this circuit. We have the resistor in series with the inductor, and the combination is parallel with the capacitor. We have S plus 2 times 10 over S over S plus 2 plus 10 over S. Let's multiply top and bottom by S, and this gives us 10 times the quantity S plus 2 over S squared plus 2S plus 10. So this is the equivalent impedance of the circuit, and we can redraw the circuit like this. Now, using Ohm's law, the output voltage, VO of S, is the product of the current and impedance. Substituting the impedance, we can now solve for the transfer function by dividing by IG of S. This is the output over input, which is H of S, 10 times S plus 2 over S squared plus 2 S plus 10, and this is therefore the transfer function of the circuit we started with.